We've already seen that there are several 3D primitives that we can work with inside ZBrush, but let's take a look at how we can change some of their initial settings. I'm going to open my shelf over on the right hand side, go up to my tool palette, click on this swatch and drag this over to the right. I'm going to click on my tool option here, and then again we expose all the different 3D tools that we can work with inside ZBrush. I'm going to click Sphere 3D. Once I have that selected, I'm going to click and drag to draw that into my canvas. And then I'll move up to the Edit button so that I can work with it in edit mode. I'm also going to come over here to the right and click this Frame button. That way, now that I have a frame on it, I can see the dimensions a little bit better. Again, in our tool palette, second from the bottom, we have this pull down called Initialize. Once we open that up, you'll see that there are several options we can change for this 3D sphere. Divisions in the height, divisions in the width, coverage, and you can get objects very different from their initial state. If you want to start sculpting on this, again we can go up to make poly mesh 3D, and then we can start sculpting. Be aware now that I've created a poly mesh 3D, I don't have my initial settings anymore. So you're going to want exactly the initial settings that you want to work with before you hit this Make Poly Mesh. Once you do this, you can't go back to those initial settings. But then again, you can start sculpting, hitting Control D to divide, and then working with this new mesh. I'm going to hit Edit, Control N to clear, and let's take a look at another 3D object. So again, I'll click on my tool icon, and this time I'm going to go over to Gear 3D. Again, click and draw to bring that into the canvas, then hit Edit so that I can start working with it. Again, we'll go down to our Initialize option and open that up. Now you'll notice that we have several different options compared to the sphere that we were just working with. Each one of these 3D tools is going to have different options to work with. What's interesting about this gear is that we have these Z-curves that allow us to change the profile of the outer and inner spikes on this. as well as divisions and different profiles. Again, when we're done, we can go up to Make Poly Mesh 3D. That'll remove any of our initialized settings. But now we can divide by hitting Control D. I'm going to turn my frame off. And then if we want, we can of course start sculpting. So I re recommend that you go through all these 3D primitives, check out their initialized settings, because each one of these is going to have very different initial settings that you can work with to create very interesting objects.